right falls. This Niagara Falls behind me, and I'm not here like only just uh, to take a look at this Niagara Falls. I I got some kind of video about this, about my first ever time when I saw Niagara Falls. But today actually, yeah, first reason just to show this Niagara Falls for my mother-in-law. We got uh, her here, like it's, I believe it's like third day in Canada. And it's just awesome because we so need some kind of help uh, from her to, to watch my son because like we don't have some uh, after school program for my son. But yeah, actually, yeah, long story short, guys, today I, uh, I've got some stuff here to get done. Yeah, I've got some appointments with actually realtors in St. Catherine's. So yeah, guys, we just ended up with uh, some kind of idea to probably to find something in St. Catherine's. It's uh, it's 20 minutes away from Niagara, and I don't know. Probably it's a good idea, and if we will find something, so probably we can live here as long as I can walk remotely. Why not? So that's actually a whole idea. I will explain later why. But yeah, we've got today four appointments, and yeah, pretty busy. But I will try to make some video to show this uh, apartment hunting. Actually, it's gonna be houses uh, and townhouse. So yeah, guys, stay tuned. It's Niagara Falls. Seeing monsters at your window. No, you can't sleep. You pretend though. You don't have to play the hero. Cause I got you like you got me. When the earth shakes, when the bombs scream, until I last breath. Basement, yeah, we got here. It's like unfinished basement, yes, and some.
Alright folks, we're still in St. Catherine's. That's, that's actually first of the time uh, I'm in St. Catherine's. This is some kind of sunset beach in St. Catherine's. It looks just, guys, fabulous. And yeah, it's so nice place. Can you see? By the way, uh, right after me, you can see uh, downtown Toronto, guys. And that's actually just insane. You can see from here, from St. Catherine's, downtown Toronto is just... It looks so weird, I don't know, like it's pretty strange. Yeah, it looks so nice. So yeah, friends, and yeah, we've got a couple of appointments for today. And just after these appointments, now I'm just thinking about uh, a bunch of things, like trying to understand where we're gonna live. So far, we've got like two favorites, two favorites, and we've got four appointments for today. This last one with butterflies in front of uh, this building here, so it's about 2400 price. And it's just, actually, it looks horrible. It's, uh, I find in basement some kind of spider net, you know, guys, it smells so, so sucks, it's just tank. And yeah, price is good, but it's pretty close to downtown. If you didn't know, try to not live in downtown in St. Catherine's because it's actually not a good place for your family. Does it looks like it's pretty safe or like quiet place. But yeah, this, uh, this is the previous one, with price 2600 and yeah, this uh, house just looks awesome, some kind of bungalow, looks so nice, so safe, and so far it's our favorite, by the way, in this townhouse, what I, what I have shown you before, you will see in this video, yes? I made some recordings for you, and yeah, this townhouse also awesome. The price is about also 26, 2500. So yeah, guys, uh, I should say about, yes, this experience in downtown, why we ended up to, was looking for some options in St. Catherine's. It's so far from downtown Toronto. No, I, I've been living for about 11 years in huge cities. Like I'm from Ukraine, Kyiv, it's about Kyiv. It's uh, the capital of Ukraine. If you didn't know, it's about 6 million people. It's extremely huge. It's uh, bigger than Toronto. And that's only in one Kyiv. It's also some kind of a great uh, Kyiv area, I should say. We're not actually call this this way, but yeah, something like this. Yeah, I believe it's about, I don't know, it may be like six or seven or even eight million people, millions of people, I don't know, it's so huge. And Toronto is also, yes, it's a huge city. And actually I feel like I'm not like some kind of tired, you know, guys, it's so, so noisy place, it's a bunch of homeless people in downtown, but still it's an amazing place to live, you know, especially for for first year, if you're some young, if you some kind of young family, you can live in downtown Toronto. But as I said, the price was for us actually, guys, $2,400 for one bedroom and then. It's crazy price, it's just, it's just insane. Here we can get for exactly the same price, like full town house, you know, guys, the whole, the entire town house or some kind of uh, house, yes? It's like, it, it can be even like 1,500 square feet, you know, guys? So with basement, we'll hold the stuff, this cozy place, this quiet place, I don't know, front yard, backyard, all the stuff for your kids, it should be awesome, guys. So that's why we ended up to looking for some something in St. Catherine's. As long as I can work remotely, I'm a web developer, so why not? It makes sense. Every time, if you can save some money, guys, you should save some money because it's, I don't know, it's, you should not live like spending so much money for your rent. But if you don't have any choice, so probably, yeah, that's only one option for you. But you know, guys, it was, in Toronto, it was some kind of hunting. It was like fighting. I saw a couple of options and this, the last one, townhouse from, from Toronto, yes, with, the price was about 30 hundreds. And yeah, we decided to make an offer and it was like one day in, on the, in the market, you know, guys. And this house, this owner got already, for one day, got three offers. So yeah, guys, can you imagine, like, for one day, three offers and the price, 30, uh, 30 hundreds. And I don't know, some kind of another family, they made an offer with uh, 32 hundreds. And of course, the owner said like, yeah, okay, I will go to ahead with this offer. My offer was 30 hundreds. That's how it's working in Toronto. This is just insane, guys, 32 hundreds. For pretty small town house to bedroom town house, but pretty close to Finch uh, subway stations, is, of course, it's a huge advantage. 
But yeah, I just I decided to stop just to thinking about this whole stuff. Where are we gonna live? So far, I didn't live uh, in house. I'm like town town guy, you know. So yeah, that's a completely new experience for us. It wasn't easy to make this decision because my wife only just found her job in Toronto. It, it took about three months, but actually sometimes it can be even like half a year just to find a job. And now it looks like she need to actually to quit the job and move to St. Catharines because uh, she, she can't work from Toronto, you know, guys. I can work remotely, but not my wife. If it if it's will be possible like to transfer for this company to St. Catharines, it will be just awesome. But so far, it looks like she needs just quit her job, you know, guys. So, yeah, that's actually... I think I will, yeah, we'll end it up this video. You will understand after a couple of video from this one, we actually where we are gonna live. Now I'm gonna make some offer for a couple of uh, for some house from actually what we took a look today, yes. And if we will get like approval, it will be awesome. So far we didn't have any offer, and like we still doesn't know where we're gonna live, yes. We have about one month to find some another place, but that's not easy, not easy. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching this one. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. If you like to like, when I'm sharing this my experience, yes, just give me no, let me know please in comment section. And yeah, guys, I'm gonna finish up this video. This amazing sunset beach behind me. This awesome place looks like it's a wonderful place we live. Yeah, just take a look, guys looks so lovely place so yeah guys thank you for watching thank you for staying with me i will try to catch you in the next one bye peace out guys